Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to this episode of Inkscape for Teachers. Here I'll be showing you a file that I've written in Inkscape and I'll leave a link to this file in the video description. But this file has a number of fractions up to the billionths that might save a bit of time when you're having to draw fractions yourself. For example, if I wanted a sans serif font in the thousands, fraction in the thousands, I can click on it, Control C, let's imagine we're in uh, another Inkscape file now for example, Control V, and if I needed to resize I can Control Shift and drag, and there we go. If I needed a, um, I'll Control Z to go back to that size, if I needed to make a mixed number I could go up here, select the zero, Control C, and paste this, Control V, and drag it there, or I could select both of them and align them with the middles. Oops, that's relative to the page, Control Z, make sure you have last selected there, and now I'll align them with the middle. Okay, some people like to have the whole number part larger, in which case just select that and Control Drag, or I could uh, make the fraction smaller by clicking on that, Control Shift and drag it into position. Once you've created a fraction to edit it, use the text tool over here or to simply type T to enter the text field and drag over any number that you wish to change. Uh, simply a matter of dragging over the text tool and there you go. Click away and there's your fraction. Again it can be grouped probably a good idea to group it, Control G, the whole number in the fraction part and then if you drag it around you can drop it anywhere you like including into Word. Anyway, if you want a Times New Roman font I've got those there as well. Hope that this uh, is of some use to you and as always thanks for watching.